Hello and welcome back to Car Rental University. I am your host, Alex Witherow. Today we're going to talk about three ways in which Turo will screw you over on reimbursements. Before I get into that, click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business. Lots of great information in there. Give this channel a subscribe. We're constantly talking about car share platforms and uh, different ways to run your business, etc. So let's talk about Turo and ways in which they will screw you on uh, reimbursements and payouts. Uh, that said, in my experience, the Turo clientele is really good uh, with your car. I would say of all the car share platforms, Turo's clientele is very good about taking good care of your car. Um, <clears throat> however, that said, I've had some experiences before where you know, uh, a renter took a car, um, you know, there was a breakdown, uh, and they just left the car on the side of the road out in the middle of nowhere, which was not cool. Um, and, you know, Turo did get the, uh, the car back to me eventually. Uh, it did take like four weeks, but, you know, the car got impounded, and then they paid the impound fee, and then they did bring it back to the repair shop. Uh, which I did appreciate. It just took a while. It took like four weeks for that to take place. So, um, and I wasn't reimbursed for any loss of rental income during that time. Um, so, <clears throat> but then when the car got to the repair shop, um, they want their inspector to do, take the car to their shop to do everything their way. And if, if it's not done exactly by the book with their inspector and their shop and everything, they won't reimburse you for anything. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, in my experience with Turo, if, if the, um, renter breaks something or if there's some kind of breakdown and they determine that it's not your fault, they still put you through a really massive, um, uh, you know, challenging way of trying to get reimbursement. Um, and I, in my opinion, it, it feels like they're just trying to get you to give up and be like, okay, fine, I'll just pay for it myself and get this car back out on the road. So, you know, that's kind of the, the pros and cons with Turo's reimbursement system is that, um, you know, you know, in terms of when your car needs repairs because of something the renter did to it, they make it a very arduous and difficult process to get that reimbursement and you have to go through all their hoops and jump many hoops and do all these different things. And it takes like multiple weeks. And, you know, my feeling in the past is if, if it's a small repair, if it's only a like hundred or 200 or $300, I'll pay for it and just get it back out on the road renting again, just so I don't lose that, that rental income. So, um, you know, in my opinion, I think that, um, their, their reimbursement systems kind of, um, you know, it's just kind of challenging to navigate and deal with. But um, in terms of, you know, mileage or um, small things like tickets and whatnot, uh, you can bill the uh, renter right after the, uh, the, the rental uh, ride has finished. And you can bill the renter and uh, for any extra money uh, that they owe. So whether it be gas or whatever. So I do like that feature about um, Turo's app and website that you can bill the renter. Um, so I've done that before, you know, so it, it, it can uh, work. That can work out in terms of getting money back. But um, in my experience, like the small stuff, they're pretty good about getting um you reimbursed on it's just sometimes the bigger stuff that um, is, is a little more challenging not as bad as like if somebody actually like crashes the car they will reimburse that uh, I've never had an issue with that but um, you know smaller things kind of like mid-range stuff I had like one guy mess up a drive belt one time or something and you know that that was like a, a whole um, you know, process to get that fixed. And, and it was only like 150 bucks to fix. So I fixed it myself. So, uh, just cause I wanted to get the car back out on the road. But, um, overall, like I said, like, um, Turo does give you the option to bill the, um, you know, the, the renter on smaller stuff. Um, and they do cover the big stuff like accidents, you know, pretty, pretty well. But, um, like, Anything that's kind of in the gray area in the middle, like wear and tear that happened on the renter's watch, um, that stuff is a little more complicated with them and they make you, they make it very difficult to 
um, get that stuff reimbursed. Um, so that's just been my experience with them. Uh, but overall, like, um, it's a, it's a better system than like, you know, hire car or, um, you know, I, I would kind of consider them similar to get around in this regard. So all that to say, uh, before you go, click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business, and I will catch you in the next episode. Thank you.